What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we don't really have like too much news going on of course we're getting very close now to the ninth anniversary May 12th mark it in the calendars I've been saying it but we are getting to that point in time where we should be getting very small amounts of information in regards to anniversary it usually is around this time period of April where we get information in regards to a new update that will come to the game bringing new mechanics or new game modes or something along those lines now at as of the recording of this video on the 17th of april we currently don't have any information yet but i feel like an update should be on the way relatively shortly now as for what kind of things that they could actually release with a new update i mean there are a couple things that they could potentially do like they could have new update features that are including ship upgrades because of course we had the update that came out like late last year where we were for some reason allowed to start storing more than 1000 cola so a lot of people had the idea that this could potentially go in line with a new update to the ships or the shipyard where we can further upgrade our ships with additional cola because there isn't much reason to have you know upwards of over 10,000 cola that is a bit bizarre so I think that introducing a new way to use cola to invest it into your ships to make them even better than what they currently are would love to see a system in regards to that because there are a lot of ships that are in the game that are essentially useless so it would be nice if we got updates to make them more usable in more content um also information about a new game mode now we don't always get new game modes with big anniversary updates however if we go all the way back to this optc team letter that came out during november last year this was around the time that i was in the united states for new york comic con and stuff like that and around the time that they released or we released the uh the interviews with yoshi um with rogers base and i uh this was you know just stuff that really needed to be said for the community but it, it's unfortunate because since this team letter has gone out there's essentially been zero changes to the game in any way so look we're heading towards anniversary it would be a great opportunity for them to go out of their way to start making these changes to make the game a much more pleasurable experience for for everyone out there but if we go down to this second point about the limited availability of previously released characters so there are still a lot of characters in the game more focusing on the free-to-play aspect that are essentially impossible to get you just cannot get them in any way so they said that to sum up we have new content in development which we hope will provide players with less grinding and more fun and challenging gameplay daily as well as offering a way to acquire previously released characters all while earning rewards so this could potentially come out with the anniversary update but also they could have a new mechanic coming up for us like with the introduction of super tandem which was last year's big anniversary update of course we had anniversary bringing in uh, dex super tandem luffy strength super uh or final tap kaido no super tandem kaido should i say uh but then also the dual unit of ace and yamato um so potentially they could introduce a new mechanic that would go in line with whatever comes out for the anniversary units very well could happen but also quality of life changes which typically always happen with big updates but you know for the anniversary would love to see some quality of life changes or some some you know user interface updates but we'll have to wait and see anyways as for this video that was released it was kind of cool you know they didn't really give us any information as to what's actually coming out now these uh dates are just talking about the um uh the anniversaries for the japan side of the game so the first anniversary was log luffy uh, on uh, 2015 then you had uh, v1 law then you had the uh, six plus time skip luffy and v1 sanji the fourth anniversary being the gear change luffy and dex nami then you had the fifth anniversary which is luffy law dual unit with the big mom dual unit sixth anniversary this this is a pretty fun one bringing in super types so they had the anniversary update during this period to introduce super types into the game luffy blackbeard sabo and katakuri then we have the seventh anniversary which was the introduction of the final tap mechanic of course with luffy law and kid then we had last year's anniversary introducing super tandem into the game and we have ace yamato uh, the luffy super tandem and kaido and then they introduce the ninth anniversary and unfortunately we don't really get any information as to what is coming yet um and you can't really gain too much from even like the images that they're showing in this video it's just like gold coins chests there's not really a lot of information to go off of but you know we should be getting some information soon so i'm hoping that we see something like that at some point but 
another thing that a lot of people are going to be asking, you know, any, I personally don't know anything right now. And I know sometimes I do get information early. That is true. But as of right now, I have zero information as to what events are coming out, what updates are coming out, who is coming out for the ninth anniversary. I literally know nothing. So I'm in the same boat as everyone right now. And what could actually happen. So these are some of the ideas that not only myself, but a lot of people in the community are flying around in terms of what we could potentially see. A lot of people are hoping for a Momonosuke legend. And while I think that the timing wise does make a lot of sense, it also would have made a lot of sense if the worldwide anniversary introduced the legend Momonosuke for the first time, but it does make sense. But I think if they have Momonosuke being the headliner unit for an anniversary celebration, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be as excited for it, but I do feel like a Momo does make sense thematically. Zoro and Sanji alongside King and Queen. A lot of people been pushing these for anniversary, and I think that is quite possible, to be honest. Um, Zoro, Sanji, and King and Queen have been uh, pretty big in anime as of late, and of course, the climax of those battles will be coming to the forefront relatively soon. Um, and there are different concoctions that people are thinking about. People are saying you could have a Zora and Sanji dual unit with a King and Queen dual unit. You could have Zora versus King, a, a Sanji versus Queen. You could have um, just, you know, just random concoctions of these units. You could have just four solo legends of a solo Zora, Sanji, King, and Queen. I'm not really too sure, but I do like the fact that Zora, Sanji, King, and Queen could potentially get units. I really hope that it's not a dual unit of Zora and Sanji. We get a lot of Zora and Sanji units together in units, and I, I just am not a fan of it personally. I hope that that's not the case. Uh, if they do do it, then look, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. I just hope that these are not dual units. I wouldn't mind a king and queen dual unit because seeing those two together in one unit would be actually pretty cool. And they actually have a pretty decent amount of supports too. But I wouldn't be a fan of a Zora and Sanji together. Um, I, I think best case scenario would be Zora versus King and then Sanji versus Queen. That would be what I would like to see if those units were selected to be part of the ninth anniversary. Furthermore, obviously, Law and Kid, uh, those characters have also been seeing some representation in the anime. Obviously, they recently showed off their Awakened Devil Fruits in the anime. So I feel like a, a Law and Kid or potentially even Big Mom might even get more representation for the anniversary. And and, I mean, looking more specifically at Law and Kid, or even Big Mom, like, what if they just gave us, like, Super Tandem Law, Super Tandem Kid, Super Tandem Big Mom, and then just Super Evolve all of them during the anniversary? That would be insane. <laughs> and, I mean, those units are, are pretty new still. I mean, Law and Kid are still up with some of the best legends in the game. Super Tandem Big Mom is okay. She's fine. But if they just gave them, you know, a slightly more buffs or, like, you know, utility effects or something like that, make them slightly better than what they already are, That'd be pretty cool, you know, change their artworks around, and I think that would be pretty interesting if they decided to give, like, the Awakened Devil Fruit forms of these characters as the Super Evolutions during the anniversary. I would be down for that, totally. Um, but also, we could just see new iterations of these units, too. Um, but, you know, Law and Kid, they're already so good still. It would be kind of annoying if they did just give us new versions of these units straight up, considering, like, when you think about it, like, Law and Kid, they came out right after the anniversary last year, so they're about 12 months old at this point. Uh, and they're still really good, and I don't really think they need to be uh, power crept just yet. Like, they don't need to release new versions of these units just yet. Um, but then, of course, with that, remember last year we had the introduction of anniversary exclusive characters with Hancock, Nami, and Robin, and there's a very good chance we could get the same thing here, where we have anniversary Super Sugo Fest exclusives alongside an anniversary exclusive character. These ones are a little harder predi to, to predict, honestly, but they could give us a Hiyori or a Komorosaki. I think that would kind of fit. Momonosuke might not even be a Super Sugo Fest exclusive. They could just make it an anniversary exclusive, which I would also be okay with. And then also Carrot, who is also, also still on Wano and is still a relatively popular character. Or even make Yamato an anniversary exclusive character this time. Potentially in her, like, full Devil Fruit uh, dog form. I think that would be pretty cool. But they could do a lot of different things here. It is hard to predict this one. But I feel like this list of characters for the potential anniversary would make sense. Now, one thing that we haven't really talked about is the exclusion of Luffy characters. Because, you know, Luffy has been a mainstay in most anniversaries. Like, even in this video, like, Luffy essentially has seen... Uh, play in every anniversary except for the second anniversary where law was the was the headlining unit like luffy wasn't even like a newly released character this is just a super evolution that they released during the third anniversary you got a luffy there and then the fifth one you got another luffy sixth you got another luffy seventh you got another luffy 
8th you got another Luffy, and 9, I mean, it makes sense for Luffy to get some kind of representation. However, I don't really want to go too much into manga spoilers for those that only watch the anime, but there is some stuff that is going to be happening sometime later this year, and I feel like that, that unit could potentially be a Super Sugo Fest exclusive, and I think if they released a Super Sugo Fest exclusive Luffy now, then when that character eventually comes out later on in the year inevitably, were well, they going to just release another solo Luffy Super Sugo Fest exclusive? I, it's really bad timing, honestly, for One Piece Treasure Cruise because the anime has had a lot of breaks and the pacing has been terrible in the anime as of late. So I, I, it's really hard to honestly place where these types of units are going to end up. So I, I definitely do not uh, think that that type of unit is going to be the anniversary. But then again, what is at this point again it could just be one of those units where it ends up just being a luffy and a momo or a luffy yamato and a momo as in, as in like one unit that could also be possible it's really hard to predict uh anyways one thing i also wanted to touch up on is the new silhouette for the upcoming um treasure map so this is going to be the next treasure map character and one thing that we can see is that it is the extended artwork we had the exact same thing last year during the anniversary treasure map where it was sabo introducing super tandem the free-to-play unit was super tandem so the fact that it is an extended artwork is interesting in and of itself the big thing about this artwork is like this shape here a lot of people have been saying is this like a dragon snout or a dinosaur snout i saw a couple people say what if this is like page one and then you have like a toby ropo like crew free-to-play character that would be pretty cool i'd be down for that but honestly i think this is a good chance for this to either be kaido or momonosuke I, um, I think it's a good chance to be momo and me and my girlfriend were talking about it like what if this this shape that you see on on this silhouette part here what if this is like luffy like trying to hang on to momonosuke like that could be a thing what if this is like a a free-to-play luffy as the treasure map and seeing a free-to-play luffy treasure map for an anniversary when they release a luffy character has happened in the past so it's not out of the question it's just again really hard to predict what this could be and i think like even this little shape here could be like one of momo's clouds or something i don't know but leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section what do you think this silhouette even is and who do you think or what would you like to see for the upcoming anniversary man it's it's really difficult to predict this one sometimes it, it, it has been pretty straightforward as to what we think the anniversary is going to be like last year a lot of people predicted like yeah hybrid kaido has to be a unit because it was like so close to the reveal of the unit that it just made sense um obviously ace and yamato and another luffy we didn't really well we thought red rock luffy was going to be the anniversary unit but they opted to not do that of course um so they could subvert our expectations which i think is definitely possible but let me know your thoughts and opinions what do you think is going to be the anniversary stuff and of course when we get information in regards to the anniversary i'll bring you guys an additional video discussing all of that stuff so hopefully you enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys i'll see you guys within the next video